Good morning all. Shades on, sunny day. Just have a, a quick drive down one of the main roads here um, before we get into the vlog and welcome to the vlog. This one's all about accessories, bits and bobs, um, add-ons. Add-ons you can buy for the Model 3. Now we all know there's a lot out there for Teslas. We all know there's a lot out there for BMW i3s because I've done that before for you lovely people on this actual vlog. Uh, well, not an actual vlog, but on this channel, should I say. So yes, welcome um, back to the channel. Let's have a ride. Let's look a, a right here. I don't even see this in the camera from here. You can, on the screen here, when you turn right or left now on this Model 3, you get a blind spot camera. Um, and I'll do it to that side, look. There you go, that's the left. That's the right, I hope you can see that. But hey, that's blind spot. So let's rock and roll before this very fast speeding truck, as you'll see in the camera in a minute, comes shooting down here. This is a quick road, this is a, a quite fast road. Um, no one does 50 down here, including myself sometimes, I'll admit to that, when it's safe. But another thing that it gets a lot of, and as the, uh, the Lycra clad folk on bikes, and also on a Tuesday night, there's a lot of You people know what I'm talking about there, sports bikes very very loud sports bikes that have an impression on people that's not great at the moment in my eyes they really haven't they're just noisy they're oh i, I don't know what's happened are, are they passing mot with the noise from them exhausts i just don't know just come out to check to see if there's any difference i can see physically on this sat nav no, i can't see anything different it's, it's not doing anything different it's uh it is what it is it's a very good system on this model 3 but three upgrades i've had now in the last what two weeks and it's all been down to navigation and i can't see what it's actually done on this thing back to the accessories now accessories and add-ons are uh, something that i've always bought for all my cars from when i was very young from the very first time i had a a yamaha fs1e motorbike I even bought accessories for that. Um, came off it, scratched on my back up, sold it. My dad never wanted me to have one. Anyway, that's another story. So accessories and add-ons. I've already bought, purchased, four or five add-ons for this Model 3 that we're in now. I buy them because it betters my motoring life. I don't buy them to normally look good, apart from one that I will point out later on in this vlog. Are they a waste of money? Are they a waste of time? They, they, they make your car personal, all right? Let's face it, if you've got a, whatever car you've got, if you want to make it look different and spice it up with something that the majority of owners haven't got, then great. There's one or two items out there that we'll mention further on in the vlog that are very expensive items. And I'm, I want one of them is about 450 quid and about three hours fitting it and I'm not very happy messing about with this model 3 and the electrics and everything but you have to mod you have to mess about with it and I'll, I'll come to that one towards the end of this vlog so that's about as far as we've got so far on this lovely road of uh, towards the A46 here in Leicestershire and I'm gonna go up to the top and turn around because again nothing's bleeping nothing's coming up different Back at base now, that little trip up the road and back didn't do me any favours. Yeah, I couldn't find anything out on this sat nav, um, what it's meant to do, any differences, any changes. So what this has done over three updates, I have no idea. Time to get on with this vlog. And I'm gonna start with things that you will use to help storage that are extras that you buy for this Tesla Model 3. In fact, any Tesla to be fair. First one is in here number one okay this little thing here which clips into place like that it's a bit of extra storage it's in the actual lid 
of the center console as you can see and inside the lid like I say normally is just a hole with nothing in it well this thing you buy for about six quid seven quid comes with some adhesive tape that you put on around these edges and literally just press that in and when you press it in it just gives you something extra for credit cards uh, wallet uh, anything really you want to keep in the car um, that you don't really need to be seen because let's face it when that's up and that's down no one really knows that there's anything in there available from uh, Amazon available from eBay you can sometimes buy it as a duo kit with this next thing I'm going to show you so that's number one let's move to number two and number two dives in to this now this here does not come as standard with Tesla I don't know why they didn't very deep in this center console here which is great you know you get more in it but this little drawer thing here which is covered in this nice suede finish comes from again eBay Amazon wherever I think you can buy the, the number one well, I've just shown you in here along with number two uh, for around 16 quid basically when you've got it open that can still come out if you want it to that will actually come out of there quite easily so it doesn't have to be in there permanently but I love it I think it just adds that bit more to it and again if you want a bit of a secret compartment out of the way took it there no one knows it would actually be there to be fair but it is and it's there and you just pull it out boom. and I keep a little torch in there some change and whatever so that's number two storage compartment for your center console um, I'm gonna jump on to number three again this is an interior option that you can buy and I wanted this because of my big feet in and out and I know for sure some of my passengers as well have got clod hoppers so they do scratch what I'm going to show you now so let's move on to number three okay um, I'm going to apologize for this uh, sand in here and residue before you go any further as you can see um, this is because let me just explain something here I've had my drive extended and this will show up in our, our Lodge Life video at a later date. So we'll move on from that. But there's sand everywhere. So hey, ho, this is me getting in and out. So um, number three. Number three has to be these. Now, these plastic covers here, um, which say Model 3 on them, came as a pair. They were about 20 quid or thereabouts, 24 quid from Amazon, finishing this semi-carbon fiber look and they basically stop all the scratches which you get on these hard plastics of every car. Tesla is no different. So I thought I'm gonna have these, they were very simple to put on. You just pull all this rubber seal back here. Once you've pulled it back, there's self-adhesive stickers, sticky bits in here and along this top edge. And you literally just pop it straight on. Very, very easy. Make sure it's pushed down and that's it. So yeah, on both sides for people who have got big pesics and who like to scratch your interiors on the way out. And that includes me. So <laughs> that is number three. Okay, number four. I did mention this before. Yeah. Now the trunk liner is very, very good. Very hard wearing, very well made, fits perfectly around all the edges of this Model 3. Um, all the way to the back as you can see and again right tight up to that back piece very solid very hard wearing when I first got it it did stick up in the middle somewhat but that's only because it came as a flat pack not on a roll that's now gone there is no smell from this whatsoever unlike some other rubber mats which I found to be really bad on rubber smell but this one is excellent this was not cheap this was around 80 pound from amazon so i do feel it's one of the best you'll buy for the model 3. there's lots out there but this one in my opinion is the best and i did a bit of homework on it before i bought it so that's number four okay that is your trunk liner okay this next one i'm going to show you is actually not an accessory that you would actually put on the car but it is something you'd use on the car. You'll see what I mean. 
this is something that I wanted because I'd seen him in action. So I went to a separate company to buy it. Other people wanted 25, 30 pounds for this particular item. So let me show you what I mean. This is a very large fiber cloth, very, very thick, very lush. The more you can spend and the more, the better you get of these things, the better uh, quality wise. Um, very, very good. I've used it now five or six times on the car. Um, and it does take all the water off in one fell swoop. And also, don't forget, it won't scratch up. Now, when I first got this, um, I used it straight out the bag. And I did feel a few bits on it. So I got it washed by the lady there inside, bless her. And she put it on a special wash form, a quick 15 minute wash on its own. And, and since then, it's been brilliant. I've washed this thing about three times already in what the fortnight I've had it. Still really good, still lush well worth the money like i say something you won't bolt onto the car but something you'll use on the car number five um i'm gonna go to one other thing that i've not got fitted and i was gonna buy one but i thought well what's the point but and i've also found something out about them you've got to be very careful when you do buy them and that is in the frunk so if i just open the frunk there and by the way it will go off on its own okay now the frunk cover like my trunk liner i saw one for sale brand new the lady had never used it and she only wanted five pounds for it so when i asked why she only wanted five pounds for it it was the obvious answer she'd actually gone and bought the frunk liner for the wrong year of vehicle now a lot of people think that the Tesla Model 3 is all the same at the front here. Well, it's not. This is now slightly smaller, especially for this 2022 model. Um, this became smaller because of the heat pump. So this became narrower. Still great, still a good size frunk. Just make sure you get the right size. And again, around 15 to 20 pound. Let's get this down there you go so let's move on to number seven if I've kept count I think I'm right at number seven number seven is something you'll see from the outside of the vehicle very sharply and it's something that will con contrast with my wheels being silver let's go down and show you what number seven is caliber covers now these things here are quite easy to fit takes five minutes a piece they literally just clip on you know I wish that they were the real option Tesla calipers but they're a super expensive option um, and you only get them on the bigger wheels anyway you'll see that it's on all four now already these have not been on very long and already the salt is having a go so these list between 120 to 150 pound for a set of four look great when they're brand new and they're still looking okay now but one more winter and i'll have to get rid of them and buy myself another two pairs or should i say a full set of four because like i say they are on all four obviously front and back look okay in my opinion on these silver wheels look better than they do on black wheels so that is number seven again amazon ebay wherever uh, wish they're all over the place look great i must admit and do make it stand out on the wheels set of four from 120 to 150 quid okay i've come around the back of the vehicle here for one reason but i will go around the front in a moment as you'll see that thing there carbon like sorry for the reflection of me I'm looking rather fat there aren't i um this is the carbon fiber um tesla badge emblem cover comes in two pieces top and bottom simply take the, the red plastic off the back press them on make sure they've got all the polish off them mind you to make them stick well job done gets rid of the chrome or the black badge whatever you had now the twist of this is if i come down the car at the moment i still have the original brand new tesla chrome badge now, it peeves me to put to cover that up because that is a brand new one from Tesla fitted at the body shop I think I will put it on I've got to match the back haven't I I've got to match the rear 
and also I also have of course um, the one for the steering wheel um, for the middle of the steering wheel which at the moment again I'm not going to put on because I don't like that one that will not go on so that's number eight so that's your front and rear badges your Tesla emblems in carbon fiber style finish and again they weren't expensive I believe they were about 15 quid for the set of three delivered again Amazon okay I'm going to come to my final two now so it's a square number 10 of them all we've done one to eight this is the two that I haven't got and I'm twisted between which one to go for one is considerably cheaper than the other let me explain the screen now this whole thing is solid as we all know okay you can't move it up down left or right there is a piece of kit you can buy this one i'm putting on the screen now for you to see and that actually sits behind this now to make it fit you have got to take off all of this gubbins it's a bit of a complex job. You've got to get behind, you've got to disconnect, you've got to connect and all this malarkey. And then it will allow you to tilt the screen, either towards the passenger or more towards the driver. Now, for the cost of it, do I need it? Will I use it? Does the passenger really need to see anything when they're going along? Because they've got the same view as me. I don't know, but I don't know, I don't know. That's number nine, okay? So it's a tilt for the screen. Let's move on to the last one. Okay, this last one actually sits here. Yep, that. Now, I've seen these from 425 quid. I asked myself, is it worth the money to put it in as an option? And again, all this has to come out the whole shebang and then you've got to disconnect wires behind here and then connect wires and everything else it's got all got to come from here and i'm a bit concerned if i do something wrong with this thing being under warranty it's going to void my warranty tesla's going to laugh at me cost me about two grand to get anything right and that's a scary thing about fitting that what i'm showing you now but it is something i would love and i think it would set the vehicle off tremendously that's number 10. That's the most expensive option that I think that I would have or want for this vehicle, for this Model 3. Well, that about ties up this one for today. That's 10 items I've gave you for the Model 3. There is a part two coming up for this, so watch out for it. It'll be about in the fortnight, three weeks time. Very busy filming schedule at the moment, trying to keep up with lodge life and my EV schedule. If it's your first time here, where have you been? If you're not subscribed, please, please do. It's free. I charge nothing for subscription through YouTube. Comment below, give a thumbs up, helps the analytics on YouTube no end, and I'd appreciate if you did. That's about it, really. Um, I'm gonna get out of here because it's quite warm here. I've not got the aircon on. Door shut, and I wanna get out and get myself a coffee. So, I'll see y'all later. Thank you.